Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, October 29th, 2017, and this is your fun fact of the day. In the midst of fighting the Philistines, as we covered from Saul's reign as king last week, there encounters one particularly interesting battle, where there's a valley in between two mountainsides. And on one mountainside, you get the Philistines, and on one mountainside, you get the Israelites, and they just look at each other a lot. Largely because there's a Philistine champion who keeps coming down to this valley, what would basically be the battlefield, and shouting at the Israeli army, berating them for not having a champion like him, anyone worthwhile to fight him. His name is Goliath. He challenged the Israeli army to send forth a single champion, anyone like himself, that he would fight, and the winner of this one-on-one -on -one battle would be the winner of that entire battle. The armies would either serve one another, depending on who went and who lost. It's actually a really smart thing to do, human life conservation-wise. Well, this went on for over a month, where there was no champion suitably found to come out and face Goliath. Now, there was a man who lived not terribly far away named Jesse. Jesse had eight sons. Three of these actually served Saul in his army. The youngest of these sons is David. Because there were three brothers in the army, David would relatively often visit the army to see how things were going, see if they, he could bring anything, bring provisions, help out in any way he could. Now, in one of his particular visits, the armies had gone out to each other, and they were really close to each other in the valley. David ran after them to see his brothers, to catch up, to see the word, to make sure, you know, at the very least be there if they happened to fall in this battle. And on this visit, he catches a glimpse of Goliath in the distance. Now, for the reference point, Goliath was somewhere between seven and nine feet tall, depending on which translation you read. Archaeological experts have also discovered that at this time, a Jewish male averaged approximately five feet or so, height-wise. So Goliath stood a good two feet taller than most people around him. Kind of hard to miss. He hears Goliath berating the Israelite army, and he asks, Who's that guy? Why does no one challenge him, and what's the king offering for someone who does defeat him? So he asks around, and one of his brothers actually berates him for being so interested in affairs that aren't his. Remember, David's basically 12 at this point. He's a shepherd boy. He watches after lambs. David goes before King Saul, says, I'll fight the giant. And Saul's like, you're a boy, a shepherd boy no less. Really? You're not really qualified. The, the difference in experience here is pretty big. Goliath has been a giant basically from birth. A soldier, from birth. You, you throw rocks. And David says, sure, I throw rocks and I carry a staff. However, when one of my lambs gets taken by a bear or a lion, I go get that lamb back. I kill the bear or the lion with my rocks and my staff, and I save that lamb. Saul says, fine, go ahead, good luck. Oh, here, take some armor, take a sword. David puts on the armor, tries the sword, but he hasn't really fought with them at all, he hasn't practiced with them at all. So he takes them back off and just takes five stones from a nearby brook. He goes out to meet Goliath. Goliath essentially laughs at him, condescends to him, saying, Really, boy? Really? You're going to come out after me? Goliath charges. David goes to meet him, takes the single stone, and lodges it in his forehead. There is some dispute as far as whether or not, physics-wise, this is possible that that killed Goliath alone. But not really taking any chances, after Goliath falls to the ground with a stone in his face, David runs up, draws the giant sword, and cuts his head off with it. The Israelites pursue the Philistines a long ways off. David takes Goliath's head, and eventually his armor, as spoils of war. He eventually meets up with Saul, still carrying Goliath's head, and Saul asks, Who are you, boy? Where did you come from? And thus we have the story of David and Goliath, found in 1 Samuel 17. In other news, today is National Cat, Oatmeal, and Hermit Day. I could see a relation between those. Some hermits have cats, one of those companionship things, and oatmeal is... Let's just say I usually imagine hermits as being a little bit older, and oatmeal sometimes also a breakfast for an older person. Not to stereotype, just my perception on things. Hope you've enjoyed this fun fact of the day. See you tomorrow.